Welcome to Tough Crowd. <laughs> you know, when you think of violence, nothing brings a more chilling image than the phrase Middle East peace talks. They say that Bush right now is talking to the new Pali Prime Minister, Mahmoud Abbas, and that he is hopeful. That's what Bush says. Well, yeah, compared to Arafat, we just spent 20 years negotiating with a guy that wears a do-rag, all right? <laughs> you shouldn't have a prime minister in a do Why doesn't Bush start wearing a Kango hat? So, <laughs> I don't want to hear that phrase hopeful anymore, okay? I'm sick of it when they talk about Middle East people. How about the president comes on TV and just goes, folks, you know the drill. <laughs> the last two days, you know. I never thought I would say this, but here's the solution. We get attacked by Martians. That's the only way we're going to unify this earth. We, America, we take all our space power and our military, we stage a fake Martian attack, we blast a few countries that we hate, just for, you know, and then we defend everybody going, listen, man, we don't like you, we don't get along, but you're still, uh, you know, earthlings like us, and we're not going to put up with this. Then we come out, uh, you know, doing good, because everybody says, ah, oh, they're good, you know, they, hey, folks, and we got a better idea, come on. <laughs> Well, that was a good idea, you have to admit. Last week's peace talks between Israel and Palestine made no headway. For 50 years, the West, led by America, is trying to bring peace in the Middle East. Is it time to cut bait and go home? Should we just stop trying, Judy? Uh, I think that there will never be I think, first of all, there's not going to be peace. Until, you know, it's just never going to happen. I mean, it's been going on for thousands of years. They've, we, we've offered Palestine... They've been offered like 99% uh, of When you say we, <laughs> oh, we. who are you talking Here about? Here comes the anti-Semitism. Yeah. Now I'll be called a Jew on the type for the rest of the show. Two dykes. Okay. Now, as a Jew, we, as a Jew, what we, as a Jew, no, Jew. Uh, Israel has offered them 99% of what they've wanted. They have not accepted it. They don't care about the land. They care about getting rid of the Jews. They've even said, as long as a Zionist is still breathing, we are going to keep fighting. They have allies. They have Arab neighbors that, that don't do anything for them. I mean, why aren't their friends giving them land? But that's their friends, right. Tell me one Israeli that has blown himself up in a public place. You know, it's like all they do is say, oh, the Israeli army. These are, they're not, these Israelis are defending themselves. They're, you know, they can't even go out to the mall. I like him like such a whiny well, I know. Well, the mall. The mall. The mall. Well, What's um, the gun doing? Did you just get into the mall? You know, as far as I don't really, I think it's just a long, them. complicated conflict, like you're saying, that has no really peace in sight. No matter what we do, it's not going to work out. Very similar to the long, ongoing conflict between Joyce DeWitt and Suzanne Somers. It's the same yeah. kind of thing that we try. Have yeah. we not tried right. to yeah. bring? And that is all about the Jews, too. Yeah. All about the Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Jews run show business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I learned that on the so, show. Yeah, really <laughs> Basically, this is all very enlightening, but nobody answered my stupid first question. What? Should we cut bait and leave? Yes. We all... Yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, Even George Jefferson knew to get out of Archie's neighborhood after 10 years of fight with him. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Go look for a deluxe mosque in the sky. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but, you know, we have, like interest there. There. I mean, we have oil shit. interests there, and Israel is our only ally. Let me tell you something. If Israel didn't bomb Iraq, they would have had a lot more power. Uh, that's true. Don't get excited. Oh, okay. We were ready for you to They would have had a lot more power during, you know, their whole conflict. Now, are you this <laughs> impassioned over it because... Uh, it's how you feel, because your, your mother's going to watch tonight, and if you don't defend the Jews all the way, she's going to have a few words. I know this is going to be Jews shocking. All the way. No, this I, will be I'm shocking. Going. My mother doesn't watch the show. Oh, my God. Oh, well, oh, 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 I can't oh, say I'll see it. Oh, that's that frankly going to affect my she'll, she'll be, she'll she be, she's she's old. She'll be, she's at 11.30. Or she'll be watching that Hitler movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the Saudis right now, okay? Here's our relationship with the Saudis. We sell them weapons. They sell us oil. Then they give the money from the oil and the weapons that we sold them to Al-Qaeda who tried to blow us up. Now, I don't think this is a good business practice for us. Mm. I understand business is important, but there's something there that needs to change. If part of your business, whatever the oil company, is a $500 uh, deposit for Riyadh truck rentals. You know, there might be a little problem here is all I'm saying. <laughs> but can we afford to not do business with the Saudis? Sue. So, well, I, I think we're screwed. I think we've uh, we've set ourselves up. We have a relationship with them, and and uh, there's no way out. And we're not even we're not even paying attention. We're completely ignoring their relationship to one of the most fearful weapons of mass destruction, and that, of course, is the flying carpet. So you know, and 
and the stealth flying carpet, which I'm sure is in development. We're staying in a relationship with the Saudis, the same reason that Stedman stays in a relationship with Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> For the publicity? Money, right? Loyalty and oil. <laughs> oil, I'm talking about cooking oil. Yeah. I mean, what's yeah. my... <laughs> But okay. look at it this way. I mean, what are we supposed to do? You say we can't cut bait with the Saudis, but that's the same with Israel. We've been in business with them for 50 years now. We're just going to cut bait on them, too. Yeah, but Israel, you know, their human rights are, right. are positive. I mean, the yeah. Saudis treat their women like crap. Totally. You know, it's, it's just But if a... we cut out with Saudi, if we stop doing business with Saudi Arabia, they, they whatever will reason, the economy. They affect the whole world. The right. world will crumble, man. They've got oh, we, a whole, whole business. This but country, everywhere. What, what is it? Is it the oil? It's, it, we, they have a lot of billions of dollars invested over here, too. And, and we have a lot we of companies over there. there. We have no, companies over there. Well, but it's mostly about oil. So we, we have alternative sources right, of energy. Well, we so let's develop. Lead. What are the alternative? Keep being yeah, alternative gonna, sources. What, what my hands? Drill in Alaska. Leno That's had a guy on a couple long. months ago. He, he's got his car running on, like, dried cat shit. I'm serious. I know. <laughs> oh, really? I'm serious. Who does? Oh, my God. There's a guy on the Tonight him. Show. Really? But look at Jay. So he's a fine one. 50 motorcycles and 20 cars. You think yeah. he's going to work? Look, <laughs> we got to go. We're going to come back and tour on something else. All right. Don't worry. It'll be good. You're this back up. Folks, the right, the left, and the middle all agree. Don't leave me alone with these people. We'll be right back. <laughs> Very coincidentally, this uh, segment is about men and women, and on the break, they didn't hear me. I was over listening to these two, and Colette goes to Nick, you're antip anticipating your emotional life. <laughs> Imagine saying that to Nick. I don't know what that means. No <laughs> man knows what that means. <laughs> Women know what it means. <laughs> All right, Attica Sorensen wants to compete with the men in this week's PGA event, the Colonial. Now, to me, it's stupid, because she's not good enough to really make the, if it was, can you imagine if Jackie Robinson had come up and uh, broke the barrier by hitting 211? You know what I'm saying? You have to be a superstar to break barriers. She's okay, but don't you think it's crazy? It's not like she, when Jackie Robinson, to use that example, broke through, there was a bunch of other great black baseball players that came right in. It's only her and she's mediocre and no one's even close to her. That's why I think this is silly. But uh, is there any reason she shouldn't get a fair chance to play other than the brilliant ones I just had, Nick? Yeah, there's, there's three reasons. Two above her waist and one below it. Which I guess is her two brains. I anticipated it correctly. That was that's it. the three brains you're uh, talking about, right? Yeah, that's it. Let me finish my bit, so. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever shut up? Uh, oh. No, she should be able to play, right? On yeah. one condition, that guys who don't make the cut on the guys' tour should be able to automatically go to the women's tour. How's oh. that for fairness? Well, now, here's the, here's There's the, a little the, logic. Deal with that. Okay. The guys, the, you know, she just wants to compete because the guys aren't the guys, Men are, have different bodies. They're right. stronger than women. Right. And she wants to see if she can compete. But she yeah, wants but to unfortunately, we make it into this whole thing. She, she's the woman, and this is going to screw everything up if she doesn't do well. Why put so much? I don't understand why. We I think it's great for golf. I mean, it's, really. it's about publicity. Cause, it is, exactly. Right? It, it's, not, it, it's not about her testing her skills. Because if that's what you wanted to do, go do it on a Tuesday afternoon when nobody's watching at a well, public her, course. No. Oh, let her why get not? the publicity. She's stuck in that lady golf. You know, right. she's she not paying she attention to lady golf except for, you know, lesbians who think the dinosaur classic is a national holiday. Let her have some, you know, airtime. Let her play. Oh, so you have to play. Yeah. yeah, come on. No, but here, you know, she, whatever. No, right. She's gone as far as she can free. with the women, and now she That's wants Exactly, to, it's a challenge. You're talking about a challenge for her, and now everyone's but making it into this Why is it, why is it a guy going backwards? Well, so you're admitting they're superior. Men are superior. You're no, 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 they're superior. They're just, maybe She's their trying bodies to better herself. Their bodies are different. Their bodies are different. She's got the same body. Body is VJ Singh. Look at her. Judy. Oh, who says? Actually, Judy. that's not true. My penis is a lot bigger than yeah. that. <laughs> female subject let's talk about a little thing that's close to all our hearts uh -huh. women and men Jerry Lewis said a couple of years ago women comics are not as funny are women comics as funny as men Colette let's start all right truth be told uh, there are more funny male comics than female comics there are more of them that is a fact uh, but it's because 
men are raised to be funny. They're taught to be funny. They need to be funny. It's one of the only things that can maybe be charming about a man. And okay. Really? No, but no. Okay. Wait, hear me out. Because for okay. instance. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait, wait. And then okay. you're going to say, because now, Nick oh. DiPaolo, yes. if he didn't have this great sense of humor, honestly, would all the women in America want to bang him as much as I do? Because, you know, women love him. He actually, is. Wow. Uh, Nick is actually <laughs> very good looking as well. I hate to admit it. Yeah. But the yeah. other thing is. Thanks, Jordy. Well, I got a I got a bigger <laughs> than you, too. Yeah. <laughs> and that means BJ Singh is yeah. really hurting me. Yeah. I know. Yeah. No, but I think that there are more funny male comics because there's more male that's comics. Like, no, yeah, that's, that's what not it is. Not the ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Anger. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. anger. Anger. The ratio Ladies. is the same. The anger. ratio Watch is the same. Anger. And you have to admit, comedy is a subjective thing. The ratio is the same. Excuse me. As, as funny me. To, to not but. funny. What? The point is, then, why are there more male comics? Because well, if the a, audience is usually 50-50... It's a male... It's a male... Whoa, 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 whoa. But the, man, the audience is 50-50, yes? Men and women. It's considered... No, I don't know. Sense of why humor. Is, who considers it that? Having a point of view, which is what doing stand-up right, is, right. and having an opinion and saying things is considered to be a masculine right. right. And it's not developed it's not, not ladylike. If, if there oh, were women who dress up in many skirts and really hot-looking, no one would take them... No one would listen to them. But that's irrelevant. The point is, even on this show... I notice a lot of times, when, like when women are about to say something, and some guy starts talking, they just back off. And at first, really it's not this show. Well, not today, but, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, you, when there's one woman on the show, they was about to say, then they just back off. And right. I thought it was because they were like, you know, just like you said, socialized that right. way. Then I'm talking to the women on the staff, because they're just saying. You son oh. of a bitch. What are you doing now? End. My one chi- I'm sorry. Let's see how men are. Your thought was that they're backing off because they think it's not worth fighting about. Right, right, right? right Thank right. you. Well, you see, but, but you have this Excuse show. Me. That's right. This yeah. show right here, and instead of saying that this is four comics getting together, it's the women's show because yeah. it happened to be. And why isn't it just four comics? If there were four, um, four because, guys here, it's me. not the well, guys' but, show. But first of all, no. You can bring that old, damn, whatever they call it, old saw. Bring that old yeah, saw. Because, because there are so many less women comics that it becomes the women's show. Just like she said, there's more male comics, so this is the exception rather than the rule. Now what? If oh. you went through every yearbook, if you went through every yearbook in the high school, how many would, would have class clown as females? I, I, would, class have... I would class clown! Okay, there's two. <laughs> there's two. No! As the Beatles said to Pete Best, we'll be right back. <laughs> As I sit here, cross-legged, terrorist attacks, civil war, and mutated deadly diseases own the headlines. Interesting phrase. People don't know where to turn for comfort and reassurance. People want to know what's going on with their countries, where they stand on America's list, you know? So we went out to calm some nerves. Hi, Colin. We're from Iceland. What's going on over there? The, the same thing that's always going on. Look at that little cutie pie on the left, right? <laughs> same thing. You're sliding around your country like a college hockey team. Huh? Trying to figure out the difference between you and Finland. <laughs> Look at that adorable little face. I, I feel like a mother when I see this kid. I just want to like... G'day, Colin. We're from Sydney. What's going on in Australia, mate? <laughs> Do I have to take a little sarcasm there, unshaven one? <laughs> that's nice. It's 9 a.m. and you and your wife are already hammered. Good. Listen... <laughs> Drink and fight. Is that all you people know how to do down there? Even the animals are brawlers. Every time I see a kangaroo on the Discovery Channel, he's punching some guy in a safari jacket. Hey, I'm from Nigeria. What's happening in Nigeria for now? I'm glad you say for now, my friend, because it depends on what you call now. Now has a tendency to change very quickly in Nigeria. Now it's a Christian democracy. Ten minutes from now, it could be a uh, violent Muslim theocracy. And uh, next Tuesday, it'll be a military dictatorship. Things fall apart. Isn't that the book? One minute you're part of a sophisticated technological country, one bad election riot, and you're dodging machete blows and yelling for NATO to send a couple of hundred jaded Belgians. Hey, Colin, I'm from Saudi Arabia. What's the latest there? Oh, Saudi Arabia? <laughs> I'll tell you what's going on, my friend. Uh, ten Saudi royals are drinking cognac right now and snorting coke, trying to figure out how to get the Saudi people to believe it doesn't violate Islamic law to have a go-kart and ecstasy party for the Hooters girls. <laughs> now listen. Hi, Colin. What's going on in Korea? What isn't going on in Korea, my friend? If we're talking north, they got a little transvestite with a bouffant who's, uh, <laughs> now poke us in the butt with a spent fuel rod. And you got South Korea where they've apparently developed Alzheimer's. They're protesting us. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, South Korea, would you like to join your comrades up north? 
who were starving to the point, and this is true, they had to change the title of the Disney movie to 17 Dalmatians. <laughs> Folks, I would not make that up. Hi, I'm from Mali. What's happening in Mali? In Mali, well, slick. Ha <laughs> ha. I like your style there, player. You have that kind of like hip, young, standing up in the Jeep warlord type vibe. Well, your country is just south of Algeria and Morocco. So you can expect a couple of visits from the State Department to see if they can wire you up for a little eavesdropping on the social clubs across the streets. <laughs> you play your cards right, you can make a few dollars off this one and do a good thing while you're at it. Hi, I'm from Israel. What's going on with Israel? Hi, Pamela. You didn't hear? <laughs> the Palestinians have said it's not worth it for a stupid piece of land. Let the Israelis have it. I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> You know what's happening. The buses are so dangerous that Metro cards have organ donor checklists. Uh, Israelis are the only people that come to New York for peace and quiet. So to the world, I say relax. Visit New York, see Mama Mia. Have a sabrette with everything on it. <laughs> you know, how much worse can it get? The whole world's about to blow up. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're just talking about Nick's new soft image on the show. And then on the break, when he cut me off, he goes to me, you know why I cut you off? And he gave me like this horrible, like Michael Corleone mafia death look. <laughs> and he thought he was being friendly. He could tell he just wanted to choke the very life out of me, the son of a bitch. He's a psychopath. Now listen, over the past several decades, women have made great strides. They've joined the men's clubs. They've done men's jobs. Men's, appeared in men's, men's magazines. Men's is. You have few. Do you guys think I didn't? Do that to be funny? I think it's an accent. <laughs> ah! Well, I don't know. Did you do that haircut to be funny? Oh. Ah! Ah! Don't cut me off! Oh, there's the evil eye again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, people are nuts. Now listen. <laughs> Yet people believe, few believe that uh, Annika Sorensen can compete with the male golfers. And what activity are women just superior to men and why? Let's start with Nick. Sex. They can have ten orgasms to our one. Not only, not only that, they don't have to take a two-day nap after. Girl, girls get all energetic. My wife wants to cook stuff. She's got a cake in the oven. She's roasting a pig on a spit. She's raking leaves, painting the house. Meanwhile, I'm at the hospital. My blood pressure's three over one. I'm on life support system. The doctor's like, he climaxed three times? That means irreversible brain damage. You ever see a guy after sex? He looks like a kid they pull out of the bottom of a pool after 10 minutes. <laughs> Guys have no uh, energy. I'm surprised rapists don't get caught every time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Too murphy. Uh, women are superior in almost every activity that requires wearing uncomfortable shoes. Uh, I'd like to see men do half the things women do while wearing high heels. And face it, high heels were invented to make us easier to hunt. Uh, now, what's the old line? Sure, uh, let's see. Uh, Fred Astaire was a great dancer, but Ginger, Rodder, jo uh, Ginger Rogers, yes. yeah, she, she liked the men's, uh, <laughs> had to do all the same steps in heels and backwards. And that's what they should do with the PGA. Let everyone play, but in heels and backwards. Not only uh -huh. would women win every time, but it would aerate the greens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Colette, holy. Okay, um, first of all, I want to make it clear. I said that I would bang Nick DiPaolo, and actually, I, I don't want to bang Nick DiPaolo, I want him just to rape me so I wouldn't be responsible for the choice. I just want to make that clear. I wouldn't have picked it, but I still get it. All right. Um, women, women are always, always, women are always, always better strippers than men. I'm going on a limb here, but hold on a minute. I say take me to a titty bar any old day because I would rather have a hot girl stripper rub her fake boobs in my face and tell me I'm pretty than have some gay hairless guy stripper in a thong at a bachelorette party give me a lap dance and desperately try to convince me he has a hay boner. Hey, All right, Judy. Well, I think women are far superior at giving birth and then raising those children alone while trying to earn 70 cents on the dollar and receiving no support or assistance, financial or otherwise, from the person who impregnated her. <laughs> you know what? You're right. A, a woman golfing with the men, that's preposterous. It's, it's like an absolute outrage. That would be like, like men going into the kitchen and cooking real well with their overinflated egos and their fat fingers and then getting their own TV show. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm dying for a guy to get a show called Laundry. <laughs> on the Laundry Network. Hi, I'm Patrick, and today it's all about bleach, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right. Women that are better at noticing things and remembering things. So, like, if I tell some girl I know, hey, I'm going to have surgery in two weeks, you know, they call you the day before, you know, they remember that, they send you a card, email, nice, a phone call. I once had an operation. When I come home, I'm lying in bed. My male friends are cursing me out on my machine for not calling them back. They forgot I had an operation. And when they find out, they're like, hey, man, what kind of painkillers did you get? And can I have some? <laughs> Folks, before we leave tonight, I'd like to say that uh, this show does not endorse Nick DiPaolo rape. <laughs> no. But that's a personal choice. We believe it's a woman's right to choose if she wants to be raped by Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> if they put a man on the moon, why can't they put one on a lifetime? I don't know. Good night. <laughs>